Okay, today I'm going to be speaking about a song that I did with Nathan Blur. Uh, it's called OK. Um, this is one of my favorite beats. Like, the way it came together. You see how quickly it came together. Um, I end up mixing the, the entire song here. Something I never do. So, what I'm going to do is, as usual, just methodically start at the top. Um, actually, I think it might be a bit weird starting at the top because that's where the vocals are in this top channel. Um, so I'm going to start like somewhere here and go through it. There's a lot going on. Um, yeah, so grab your pen, pad, coffee, whatever it is, and let's jump right in. Cool. So I'm just going to play a little bit of the track just so you can get a feel of what's going on. Um, I think I'll take us right up to the chorus. I ain't looking both ways Got a dream on my mind, I ain't stopping no way I ain't got nothing, but I'ma be okay Go on my mind, I'ma be okay So I'm just going to go into how it started. This is the kind of like the thought process. I work very methodical. Um, let's start off. So here we just have, um, I've got a lot of East West in this project, just as a forewarning. So actually, let me, while I'm talking, let me load up my, um, MIDI controller just so I can trigger some of these notes cool so um, in this first one I have the plug that you heard there um, let's see if we can get it here to trigger there we go okay it's not triggering so well there we go cool so, simple notes. Um, I've got my progression going on here. And then this is just the same note, same chord that's hitting between each progression. So each chord is what I meant to say. Uh, pizzicato, nothing special there. Cool. Um, how, let's see how I linked it across. Nope. These hot keys always give me a hard time. Um, got some stereo enhancer. Um, I know these ones. What I usually do is I just grab the string or the four strings preset and then I tweak it from there. So I start messing with the um, Once I start, you know, once I get the stereo separation right, then it becomes easier for me to, you know, just handle everything else. Cool. Next item is. It's a bass that's trying to be a bass but really isn't a bass. I'm using Modernize. It's a plugin I don't usually use. Actually, I haven't seen this in a minute. So I'm using something stock here. I like that vintage feel about it. Just something about it um, that would. Uh, stop me from wanting to use the typical silent bass, the Reese bass that I use, very, very simple. This one has a bit more character, right? Um, there is something here. Yeah, so that's just another sound for later. Um, just a symbol, all right? 
Hier. That sounds very menacing. Let's see, east west again. Um, bassoon. Got the bassoon playing some notes, and it's just the bassoon alone. So when we play that as well as the notes, the initial uh, bass line. So those notes are just, it's just there to hold the suspense of what the hell am I listening to? What's gonna happen next? Then after a little bit of that, that's when the, the pizzicato comes in. bit of a break and then boom we jump right into it okay um yeah let's see where we can go next let's go ah i've missed out a sound here what on earth is this there we go so we've got some what look to be tr trumpets i think no, that's not it. That's very odd. Uh. Okay, so we've got the, what's this pattern two? Ah, there we go. There it is. Trumpets. Apparently it's four trumpets playing sustained notes. That's what you're hearing at the bottom. This part here. Again, it's just there to create the ambience before the track comes in. Cool, on to the next. There is, um... yes, there we go. So we've got more, these are French horns. These are not French ones, they are. There we go. Okay, just some, just some staccato notes. Just to give a bit of a, you know, um, a bold feel, like a bold sort of like stab, you know, in your face, but not quite, still quite cheeky and playful. Okay, and there's a stack of drums that we've got going on here. So I remember speaking to Nathan about this track and we spoke about there being elements of like a Davido slash Chainsmokers sort of meetup. So you can hear by the kick, it's got a very Afro beats kind of feel to it. Then this element here. It's a little bit of that Afro beat. There we go. So that, that part there is a little chain smokery for me. I had it sounding a lot more like, was it? middle i don't know which track it was but i emulated off that it started to sound a little bit too similar so i decided to bring in a couple of other elements and you can see how i haven't made i i don't work on one pattern where i just throw everything down i bring things in in elements um, that allows me to methodically bring it across to here to the mixer and this is where all these sounds are sitting at the moment. Okay, in terms of mixing, you can see I've added nothing to these elements except for the 808, which I'll get into a little bit later. Cool. Let's bring in some more stuff. Okay, not the trumpets, the horns. Okay. 
So there's a snare. Just to give it a bit of a skip, right? Right, so that's a lot of what's going on there. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna play this for you. That is me, I think. If we just listen through that. Came on my mind, I ain't stopping no way. Woo! I ain't got nothing, but I'm. Yeah, I added that in. That's me making noise. Um, just place that in there just for effect. Um, again, okay, so this part here, I wanted to have it switch up a little bit, broaden some other elements. Some hip hop congas. Don't know what those are. Let's have a listen. This is such a generic tune. This is a generic sample. Okay. It works though. There we go. I added something. Okay. Um, there was something else that I added for this portion of the beat as well. Oh. So that's where our 808 comes in. I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna be okay. okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Let's have a listen to these notes. Okay. That's all I have going. I think the most. Um, the most intriguing part about this is this area here with the, um, the bend. Alright. Cool. So that's the first part of the verse. <clears throat> first part of the verse covered, I think, completely. Cool. So, second part gets a little bit... That's where things get a bit more interesting. Same notes, again, this time different instruments. So we've got Icarus here, hyperstereo pad, just some notes, very 80s like, I was really going through a phase there. Um, that as well as the bass, that bass, remember the one that played in the, in the, in the um, intro? This one? It's the same guy here. But you can hear that over here, that bass, I've got shorter notes playing. So it's short, short, long. Whereas here it's a little bit longer and then a little bit longer. Let me actually just show you. So I've got these notes as they are. Nice and long, elongated. Whereas here, that didn't make sense. So I've got these shorter notes. Everything needs to be tight in that situation. So the notes needed to be shorter. Cool. Little playful piano that comes in. Right, up to striking four times. It's just a bit more of a fuller chord. Okay, that is essentially that. Ooh, something interesting over here. Let's have a look, see. What are these purple dudes? Okay. Uh huh. Okay, so here, this is here to supplement the drums. So let me play this. Let's try and eliminate a lot of the instruments as well as Nathan. Sorry, guy. Okay, let's get rid of a little bit more. There we go piano okay so this is the drum without the little purple samples in still sounds good okay let's add them in and see what difference they make Cool. So it's like little fills in between, 
um, it just gives it that, you know, that thing that makes you want to move. Cool. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. I need to stop saying okay. Um, that's the end of the verse. That's the end of the verse. Um, what I tried to do, what really was chain smokery of me, was there was no hook. There was no hook whatsoever. I think Nathan actually sent me two verses, if I'm not mistaken. Or I think the okay part was supposed to be the chorus. But I decided, you know what, stuff that. Um, let's see if we can add a melody line over and above that, you know, instead of having him doing the top line, the top line singing, I actually did it with the synthesizers. So here's what I came up with. Okay, so the main additions for the chorus. First one is this. All it is is our tame bass line just played in another synth. Then, for the hardest synth, I use the silent, Reese wobble, which is essentially what I use for everything. Cool. And then the other thing I did is I played out a pretty melody. I don't know how else to describe it. So you can hear that it kind of sounds like what he's saying. Okay, okay, okay. And then this is me. Mind you, I received Nathan's vocals, so I played this based on whatever I heard from him. And then again here. That was me just being fancy, right? And then for the second time that it comes in, it comes in, but it comes in with another friend. So initially, it's just this synthesizer. Icarus. That's the Icarus doing that. The Axo Squero. Uh, yeah, I think that's how you say it. And then for the second half of the chorus, it sounds like this. Same thing, I've actually just done, um, um, what's this, a harmony to it. So it's not the exact same notes, but it's playing the same notes at the same, well, saying playing notes at the same time, but it's not the same notes. So if you listen to this, it's, um, it's a silent, um, it's a silent preset. So together, There you go. Let me play it all together so you can hear it in context. Yeah, so <clears throat> I this is this was a dream for me because I got an opportunity to fill the beat with whatever crap I wanted to fill it with, and I had an opportunity to shine, which is always nice. Um, I appreciated that. Uh, there was something else that I added for the chorus. It was sorry, it was this part. Just need to figure out what this is. What is this? Ah, there you go. Just a little bit of a. Really, it's so subtle. Okay, then it goes back into the second verse. I can feel it coming, coming to me. Something I've been wanting. These guys come back. These 
sustain notes. Something I've been wanting, wanting for me. I can no more touch it. It's something I feel. Something I've been wanting. Yep, yeah, and then the trumpets come in for the second part there. For me. I can no more touch it. Okay, I'm gonna get into the vocals soon. Um, let's see if there's anything I've missed out. Okay. Got our 808 coming through again. I think I've got a side chain going on here. Nope. Not even. Okay. All done. Um, I've just chopped a little bit out of the 808. Just to make a bit of space for the kick. That's all. Nothing special. Just a little bit of space for the kick. And yeah, so there's no, you don't have to side chain every single kick to every single 808. It's just if you need some more space, if you need that initial, if you need that extra space. This song is not bass heavy, as you've heard. Even the bass line is a pseudo bass line. The other bass line comes in, but only during the chorus. So the 808 is the only thing really contributing bass, like strong bass elements to the song. So it's not competing with a lot of things except for the kick. Um, and they're living together in decent harmony here, so I'm happy with that. And that's pretty much it. The song keeps the same sort of um, progression. Uh, it goes back. Fast, I ain't looking no way. Dream on my mind, I ain't stopping no way. Yeah, and then from there it goes back into the OKs. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Then it goes into the chorus. And then after that, this is the only time that my chorus as well as Nathan's okays play together at the same time. It's almost like the crescendo. And then at the end of that, it's goodbye. Thanks for coming. Okay, okay, okay. Then that's it, end of the track. Um, let's get into these vocals real quick. Just to see what I did here, because I'm curious. I never work on vocals here. Um, let's see what we got. It's going to put you on a loop so we can focus on what's happening on the mixer. I can feel it coming, coming to me. Ah. Something I've been wanting, wanting for me. Okay. So, got Nathan's files. This was actually supposed to be a draft, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this was the, the final recording, but I think he sent me a draft, something he recorded at home, and I polished it, polished it up enough to a point where I felt happy having that as the actual version of the song that will go out. So I've got X noise here just to eliminate any noise that I could hear. Let me see if I can, if I bring everything off, if I can actually hear any of that noise that I was hearing. I can feel it coming, coming to me. Something I've been wanting, wanting for me. I can no more touch it. There's something I feel. Something I've been wanting. Not really hearing it. Okay. Anyway, it was there. Um, had the EQ. I was. I cut out quite a bit. Nathan's got a bassy voice. It's got a lot of prison, like low in prisons. I can feel it coming, coming to me. Something I've been wanting, wanting for me. I can no more touch it. There's something I feel. Seems it wasn't the case here. Um, yeah, I think we actually might have re-recorded it. Anyway, moving right along. We've got the tube tech. 
Not doing anything too crazy. I can feel it coming. Coming to me. Actually, it's working quite hard. Something I've been wanting. Wanting for me. I can almost touch it. There's something I... What I like about the tube tech is it, there's no real, like, trick to it. It's all about what you're hearing, which is why I like it. Even when you look at the knobs and the numbers and everything, it's not too, like, okay, we're going to turn it up by no point, whatever it is, or 1%, you know. And this is a nice visual, visual representation of what's going on. It really does assist when, you know, I'm trying to work on a track. Um, and then we've got the delay which is standard. I can feel it coming, coming to me. That's the delay off. This is with the, the, the delay on. I can feel it coming, coming to me. Something I've been wanting, wanting for me. So, I can no more touch. I know this VST is an eyesore. Like, it looks terrible, but it's, it's free. It's a free VST. I've been using it since I started making this. I've been using this now for 13 years. About 13, 12 or 13 years I've been using this delay. Um, very simple to use. Everything you need is here. You can sync it, you can place it manually, you can EQ it. Everything is like, this is great and it's free. That's the, the, the cherry on top. Um, I use this. Sometimes I use, you may have noticed, sometimes I use Fab Filters Timeless it's all got to do with preference and what I feel the vocal needs. If it's just a vocal and I don't, want it to, I don't want the delay to do too much, this is perfect. Whereas I could have brought in a timeless. Uh, timeless, it just gets a bit complex. I mean, if I just show you, I've got timeless here, right? There's just so much more going on and this isn't everything. You can click around and you'll find all sorts of other pages behind pages and it just, yeah can get a little bit expensive at times and look you get a really great sound out of it but sometimes it's not necessary i can feel it coming coming to me something i've been wanting wanting for me that was timeless this is the classic delay i can feel it coming coming to me something i've been wanting wanting for me so again Preference, whatever floats your boat, you do that. And that was it. That's literally it. I had my Maximus going. I had my glitch, which I didn't really need to use at any point. And that was it. That's the track done. So, yeah, this is one of the tracks that I'd say probably one of my most favorite that I've done with Nathan. One of my most favorite beats that I've ever had to create especially considering someone, he had sent me vocals prior. Um, oh, snap. If I go back into the files, I think this might actually be the original that he sent me. Yeah. So this is what he sent me initially, right in the beginning. I didn't even know I was going to find this. This is great. Um, so I'm going to do that. So we're going to play the piano. And then we're going to play a bit of his vocal. This is what I got to create this beat. Just this piano and his vocals. I'm moving fast, I ain't looking both ways. Got a dream on my mind, I ain't stopping no way. Got nothing, but I'ma be okay. Go on my mind, I'ma be okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Go on my mind, I'ma be okay. Coming. Yeah, and then that essentially turned into this. I'm moving fast, I ain't looking both ways. Got a dream on my mind. Having listened to that, I can actually hear the, the plucking. That plucking that he was doing with the piano. What he was doing with the piano, I, I imitated with the plucking. And I did this. I'm 
I'm moving fast, I ain't looking both ways Yeah, so that's it. This is the idea. This is what ended up coming out of it, coming out of it. And these are the vocals that then laid on top of it. And that's the beat and the song. Thanks. <laughs>